guys. Uh, yeah, I always start at the beginning when I write like that. <laughs> um, haircut again, because uh, cutting the red out, that was it's underneath this colour. It looks healthy again. But this video is well long overdue. <laughs> <coughs> So I think it's about time that I did a haul. There are some things that are late, very late to show. There's some that's like uh, uh, a mo two months late. Uh, one that's not late. Um, yeah. So this has been a, a haul video that I've practically not done for a while. So it's time I get my gear on and start showing you what I got. Um, the first thing I'm going to show you is this um, lip gloss that I got from Black Moon, if I can remember the call. Uh, obviously it's an American uh, brand. Uh, this colour is called Mermaida and it's got a really pretty design on it, like it's like UV, something like that. And it's got a picture of a moon on the back, you can see better now, there you go. <laughs> Uh, so this colour is meant to be like a greenish blue, I've worn it a couple of times and it smells really amazing too. It's my my most favourite lipstick at the moment, I've been trying to avoid using it a lot because I can't afford this type of lipstick again. <laughs> well it's lip matte so it does stay on but it's not very good with greasy food so avoid as much greasy food as possible. So this is the colour it usually is. I would wipe it on my on my hand, but I just had a shower. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I got bought this from America. I think the original price was like eighteen dollars. But in the UK, can't remember. I think it's ten pounds or something like that. But I know I'll be buying more lip gloss like this from Black Moon Cosmetics again. It's vegan as well, so that's pretty good. Um, next I'm going to show you is a professional makeup by NY NYX Pro Foundation Mixer and as you can tell it's the colour white because the foundation colour that I bought from Urban Decay isn't really my colour well they said it is but it isn't but I just mixed this uh, um, <laughs> foundation mixer with it and it makes it more paler so that's pretty good I use this all the time so this is a new one that I will woo, that looked wrong. <laughs> this is the one that I recently bought. Um, I have one in my makeup bag already. So as you can see it's the colour white and it's pretty good as well. Next I'm going to show you is what I'm going to try and start wearing again. Which I got fed up and bored of doing every time. This is Fashion Cream Professional Handmade False Eyelashes. This is from eBay. These were like... One ninety nine or nineteen p? Oh no, these were four pound off eBay. So I got these ones on eBay. So these are like the old ones that I really used to wear. So some of them look messy, some of them don't. These are the only ones that don't look messy and sort of like some of them. I haven't worn any yet, as you can tell, because I haven't been going out lately. So this is the Lush Glue Lash Lush Lash. Lash glue that came with it. I've been trying to find other lash glue everywhere, but they don't have the black one that I used to use, so that pretty sucks. So I'm going to try and start wearing these again because I really enjoyed them, sort of. <laughs> Next, I'm going to show you is the finally the powder I've been trying to get for ages because I'm running out. It's the Ben Naive uh, Colorless Powder Natural Set. So this is white powder, the one I usually have is clown white but I couldn't find that one anywhere because they usually had the they had the clown white ones in America and they were like $30 something like that so that was couldn't afford that. So I actually got this off eBay so this was like pretty cheap, um, it's still white, it could still be a white powder so it's not bad. So yeah it's Ben Naive, um, colourless powder and it's ugh, it's um, stage powder as well so it should never come off obviously it's made in Los Angeles made in the USA it's like ooh so that is a lot uh, next I'm going to show you I've used this hell of a lot this is a mango and coconut shower um, bubble uh, 
mm. bath soak, uh, super fresh, treat me, super sweet. Uh, so it's like the bubble, I've mainly used it for a bubble bath, but you can use it for a body wash as well. But it smells so good as well. I don't think I, this is cruelty free as well, so this is vegan. Um, I really used it a lot. It smells so good, like the mango and the coconut go so well together. Uh, this is from Superdrug, so if you ever go Superdrug, go get it definitely. They have different sm <laughs> scents, smell, so go for it. Next I'm going to show you which really caught my eye in Primark and I'm so happy that I got it. It's the Ursula the Sea Witch um, eyeshadow uh, powders, it says, Pal whatever, yeah, eyeshadow, 12 eyeshadow powders. It comes with this cute little thing, like I thought it opens this, but I was like, aww, but no, it just opens up like that. As you see, it's got a picture of Ursula on it, and it has her name, and it's got quite a nice colours actually. I've used two in this so far. I used this one last night, so this is like the colour of um, a mermaid lipstick, so it went really well with that, and the black one I mainly used for my brows. Um, it's got a couple of colours that I like in here, obviously the blue ones and the green one that I've used. The gold one, the, this one doesn't look pretty satisfying, but I think I got this for £2 in Primark, so I'm really glad that I got that. Next I'm going to show you is what I got, <laughs> so I got caught on something, uh, I got for, uh, yeah, I got it for Christmas from Matty, it's Boop boop, 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 Betty Boot. <laughs> so it's like a, the goth version of Betty Boot. She has, has a black dress on, and I love her heels. They're so cool. It's her hair as well. It's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, I kind of forgot where you got me. You told me this, but it's a really nice ornament to have, like to go with my, um, uh, all um collection of the dolls that Disney villains and dolls and that so I really like it so much you can tell it's very glittery so I'm pretty happy with that thanks Matty <laughs> my best friend <laughs> um, next I'm gonna show you that I got um, three days ago it's the wig I've really been dying to get and it's the blue wig uh, I got this off eBay by cosplay they're called and this was like all almost 20 quid it's synthetic fiber cosplay salon that's it that's the name of the uh company on ebay so if you ever want to go on there and just get a cosplay wig i suggest you go on there and get it so i wore this last night and i gave it a good wash so it's really wavy i'm really happy with that and i love wavy hair and it's super long so i wore it yesterday i was like yes I am definitely going to try and wear this as much as possible because I really want blue hair and I really love this wig. One thing that's a little annoying is the inside of it. It's not really the colour that I should really go with the blue. Um, but this is noticeable when you wear it. Um, so that's a pain in the ass. I have been tempted to colour it black but that will just ruin it even more so I might just leave it. Uh, so as you can see it's got these um, strappy things where you can just make it tighter for your head but I don't bother with them but I should really. It smells so good, I washed it with uh, conditioner coconut last night because if you use shampoo on a wig, you're, um, it smells really nice. So I washed it yes last night and you want to let it drip dry, don't blow dry it, drip dry. It depends what type of wig you get. With human hair wig? go for it but these type of wigs no nah, they will just get knotted to hell but look how pretty it is I wore it like hell last night like I did my makeup and I put my green eye contacts in and I felt like a killer mermaid so I was really happy with that I'm gonna wear this sometime um what is it yeah uh, this week coming well, this weekend, not this weekend, the weekend after. Because um, I'm going to Manchester on that Saturday to see Vicky. 
So I'm going to have a day out with her and that's going to be cool, but I'll explain all of that later. Now I'm going to finally show you the clothes that I got for Christmas, well some of them. Uh, <laughs> some is that I've got, some that I haven't. The you all may recognise these leggings because I used to have a pair of these but they got ruined badly and uh, these leggings are by Band. Um, my mum got me these for Christmas and yay! I got these ones back. These are like my favourite leggings that I could wear. You can see the printed pictures on them. Uh, it actually shows one of them that I want to get tattooed is this one on my finger. Um, this one. <laughs> But yeah, some of them are nice. It's worn out like down there already because I walked too much. But <coughs> sorry. Um, yeah, so my mum got these for got me these for Christmas, and I've worn them. I think I've worn them twice actually. You can get them on Band, the website. Band, not Band. Um, on the website. Because uh, I remember I got these from a uh, punked image in Athletic Palace in Manchester once for 10 99 So these were much more pricier. So I know, I can't remember. No, next one I'm going to show you. Stop doing that. <laughs> Sorry. Next one I'm going to show you is another Christmas present that my mum got me. Is the uh, Spiritual Direct, the most common. <clears throat> common shirts that you could just buy uh, this is like a blacky lacy uh, top it's 2xl but so it has these where you could just put these around your fingers uh, when you put the sleeves on so that's pretty cool that's what I really like it's like sort of like a Morticia I don't think like vampire so this is another thing my mum got me for Christmas uh, it, mo it mostly shows more of the back then less at the front. Uh, the most pain in the ass thing with these is that you can see like this is like see-through fabric so that's pretty annoying. So you could just wear like a vest or something underneath it that's what you sometimes do. I can be asked or if I want to feel sexy or something like that. <laughs> so yeah. Next I'm going to show you is what I actually um, got from Wish. It's a phone app shop where you could just buy things really cheap and so on. But these are meant to be a size extra extra large but look how fucking tiny they are. But it is a really nice colour though. They're kind of like flares style thing. Uh, the fabric isn't cotton or whatsoever. It's like costume fabric so it's not like really Thing. and they look like they can rip easy as well if you wear them too tight something like that so when I hopefully when I lose weight I'll be able to wear these because <laughs> these are not extra extra large these feel more like a medium size so I really like them uh, how much did I get them? I can't remember how much I got them I wish I think it was like three pound or four pounds something like that because I saw everyone buying them it's like I need to get them so I got him. <laughs> focus, focus, focus. There we go. I'm getting out of breath already. Next, I'm going to show you is what I actually bought. It's a pajamas top, but it seems too small on me because it shows my belly. Uh, it has shorts of it, but they're packed in the suitcase because they're ready for Blackpool that I'm going in two weeks. So <laughs> it's Stitch. And it actually says. No time for sleep, 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 and it's got pictures of Stitch on it. I think this was because it was a set. I think this was like ten pound, if I can remember, or six pound, something like that. But I haven't worn it to bed yet, or something like that, because it's just too small and it just shows my belly. But I don't like showing my belly off because I'm just a mad ass. I got a size too small, I think that's why, because this is a 14 to 16, so when I lose a bit of weight, it'll hopefully fit me. Well, I want to go to bed. <laughs> Next, I'm going to show you is what I think is really cute. I've worn this uh, a few times to bed now, is um, more stitch. I think this was £6 from Primark, 
It is like a nighty, just a full nighty where you just don't have to wear pants or anything but I wear shorts underneath this. So as you see it's got prints of stitch on it and it's really cute. Um, the fabric feels weird though, it's like tense, like tight. But yeah, <laughs> so that's one of them. Next I'm going to show you is a, one of my favourite Christmas presents that I got from my mum is this skirt which should be from doesn't say where it's from but I can't remember but I know my mum got it off um, Amazon I think as you can see it's really nice uh, it's got really cool prints on it as well it's got that um, print on there that I want to get tattooed on my fingers I might get these all tattooed actually anyway uh, as you can see it says um, witchcraft on it so that's the only thing that I really like. It's, sorry, because I am, um, because um, because I'm losing weight at the moment. Because when I lose weight, a woman could just tuck this in, but I don't want her to cut the witchcraft off. I've tried it on and it fits really well. It's a bit tight, but I'm be really hoping, hoping, <laughs> hopefully wearing this in Blackpool if I'm confident enough. But the most thing I really like is the prints at the bottom, like the moon and two of these signs. But I think it's really cool, it's really pretty, comfy as well, so Amazon, get it, what I got for Christmas. What I'm going to show you is another shirt that I got for Christmas off my mum, another Spiritual Direct t-shirt, shirt, sorry not t-shirt. This one I really like, as you can see, because it's the lace is see-through at the back, if I just put my hand like, yeah it's see-through at the back, so and it's a size large, it just doesn't fit me yet sadly but when I, like I said again, when I lose weight it will I really love these lace, it's like really gothy, hippie-ish, something like that and um, yeah, it's just like black, uh, black at the front and as you can tell as I said, it's see-through but you possibly want to wear a vest with this or not, it depends how you feel but uh, another Christmas present, Spiritual Direct, and that's a nice one. Two more things, well, three more things left, and then this video will hopefully be done. Um, the news is I've not had a cig, a cigarette for two, uh, for a month, for a week now. Uh, so I bought this e-cig for twenty-five pound. Um, the coil is much more bigger than the old ones I usually used to have. Um, it's a lot more easier to put in as well, and there's definitely more smoke when you could just put the uh, the USB in this to charge it up. So, and the liquid that I'm using has zero nicotine in it, and the flavour is marshmallow. And uh, the company is vampire blood and it's coloured red obviously because it's vampire blood but I got these off Amazon the uh, 5.99 for one but when I because I bought two it was 16 pounds something because I bought a uh, bubblegum flavour um I used this one for my old DE sig but I've got bored of the taste so I tried marshmallow and marshmallow tastes nicer uh, zero nicotine on this as well so these are both really nice. So that's it to show. Update, uh, as I said, I'm going to Manchester in the weekend after to see Vicky. Then I'm going Blackpool uh, two weeks after, the next two weeks. And then I'm seeing my school best friend on the 22nd. So I've got a lot of things planned and a lot of things to do for once. Even though there's Hammerfest next month as well. <laughs> so I really need to start buying stuff for that. <laughs> but um, yeah, so that's it now guys. So if you enjoyed this um, video, <clears throat> excuse me, don't forget to check out the rest of the... God, check out the rest of my videos that I have done. So... Um, Hope you enjoyed this video. Go check the links in the description. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. See you guys soon. Bye.